Right at that moment, we had just finished uh, one of our songs. We were trying to do a little something with the crowd. All of a sudden, I've heard this big blast. And I looked over and smoke was coming up and people were running and falling down. And nobody's bothering you, right? Well the blast was also captured by a German TV reporter who was interviewing American swimmer Janet Evans. What went through your mind? Your face was so I was frightened. Horrified. Horror and panic filled Centennial Park during the mass exodus out. And there were like four people that were on the ground on the streets, like bleeding from their legs. And a huge police force put together just for the Olympics, then moved in to secure the area. Back it up. Police tried to restore order. <laughs> First responders moved in, and in the morning, the extent of what occurred could clearly be seen as investigators tried to piece together the puzzle. The security guard, Richard, one. found the bomb. Richard Jewell was one of the security guards in the park that night. He found the backpack filled with three pipe bombs and quickly helped evacuate the area minutes before the explosion. But soon the hero became the prime suspect. And that's the story told in director Clint Eastwood's movie, Richard Jewell. You always look at the guy who found the bomb just like you always look at the guy who found the body. Richard was never officially charged, but in the media, he was guilty as sin. And it's rushed with a headline that the hero was the bomber. The media cared nothing for my feelings as a human being. Mr. President, please clear my son's name. Kathy Bates portrays Jewel's mom, Bobby, who to this very day is shaken by the events of over 23 years ago. I said I was going to write a book about it and I was going to call it 88 Days of Hell because that's exactly what we went through. Richard was later exonerated and a man by the name of Eric Rudolph later confessed to the bombing. But by then the damage was done to Richard's life. He died in 2007 of heart failure. When I spoke with Bobby, his mother, uh, and Richard passed away at, at 44, and uh, she felt that, that what he went through at the time really contributed to his early death. I've carried this in my heart all these years, and they really need to know 